This is Test Sprite. It's an AI agent for software testing. And just recently, they have introduced this MCP. Now you can use Test Sprite directly inside your IDE, something like Cursor or something like Windsurf or something like VS Code. So if you're using AI to write code, which most of us are doing these days, there's a very high chance that the code that AI is writing, there are going to be bugs in that code. Because AI coding agents like Cursor and Windsurf achieve only 42% accuracy. But using Test Sprite, that accuracy can be increased to 90%. So this is how Test Sprite works. You add test sprite inside your code editor like in cursor or windsor or in vs code and then test sprite will find bugs inside your project it will generate a detailed report and then you can use that report to fix those bugs one by one so if you're a vibe coder or you're using ai to write code for you you need to watch this video because i'm going to give a detailed step-by-step -step guide that how you can use test sprite to avoid bugs inside your project or maybe fix any potential issues so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so to start using test sprite just go to this website which is testsprite.com or you can just like find the link in description and you can just like use that link so this is the test sprite website and there's one more thing that i need to mention here is test sprite was listed as number one product on product hunt and in fact you can see they got like 49 reviews on product hunt and like 98 percent 99 percent are all positive and also it is currently trending on social media so yeah this is kind of like a trusted software testing tool by developers so once you're on this website you can just go ahead and sign up for free using your google account one more thing that i need to mention here is if you're using that link from description you're going to get this starter package absolutely for free so this starter package was originally 69 dollars but you're going to get the first month for free and from second month you can pay on only $19 or even if you're just like testing this tool you can just try their free plan only so this free plan will give you 150 credits per month which is more than enough for you to test this tool so once you are signed up next thing that you can do you can simply just click on this try mcp for free and after that what you can do you can simply just click on this add to cursor button if you are using any other mcp compatible ide you can just like use this code inside your mcp settings or maybe you can just like install it as an npm package but let me just show you how you can install it inside cursor so you can simply just click on this add to cursor button and after that it will just show this pop-up and after that it will just give us this option which is open cursor so you can simply just click on that and what it will do it will automatically open cursor and open the mcp section for cursor and then it will automatically show you this option which is install mcp server and then it has this name which is test sprite then it has this command and then it has this api key section in here i have already installed it in here you can see this is the test sprite already installed but let me just show you again how you can install this mcp so the next thing that you need to do you need this api key from um, test sprite website so what you can do you can just like go back to test sprite after that make sure that you are signed in so once you're signed in you can simply just go to this api key section once you're in api key section then simply just click on this create api key give this api key a name i'll just call it test 2 after that simply just click on this create and now you can just copy this api key from here and now you can just come back to cursor you can just paste that api key in here press on install and then it will be installed i have already installed so that's why i'm not going to install again but yeah this is how you can install directly inside cursor and once this mcp is installed you can see this green dot in here that means this mcp is working now now once you have installed test spread mcp on cursor the next step is to perform testing on a sample project i have created a sample project for you guys so i'm just going to show you that and then we are going to do testing on that project so right now we have opened this project which is a general web scraper and we are using firecrawl for scraping so I'm going to just run this project, which is npm run dev, press enter. And now just let's just run this project on localhost. So this is the basic interface of our project. And this is how this project works. I can just enter any website URL. After that, I can click on this scrape URL. And now this can actually scrape that particular website. And right now you can see our tool has just scraped data from this website. So apparently our tool is working fine. And right now you can see I'm running it on localhost. Before I publish this tool and before I deploy it on a server, I should conduct a testing. And to conduct that testing, we are going to use test sprite because we have already installed called test sprite on cursor and that's why i'm going to ask cursor in simple language in plain simple english that please conduct testing for this project before i publish this project so i'm just giving it prompt please conduct testing of this project using test sprite that's it i'll just press enter and now let's just wait for cursor to conduct the testing and right now you can see it is calling test sprite generate code summary 
So I can simply just click on this run this tool. Okay, so now cursor has just opened this localhost URL, which is a test sprite URL. And in here it is asking me to provide the test account info, the local development port, and then product specifications document. This is for front end and for back end as well. I need to like provide the authentication type and then localhost URL again and then product specification document. But let's just focus on front end and right now I can just provide my test username which is test, test password which is test and then I can provide my localhost local development port which is 5173 and then I can provide this product specifications document. If you don't have a product specifications document, please make sure that you generate a product specifications document for your project. You can use ChatGPT for that but please make sure that you provide product specifications document. So this is our product specification document for this particular project I can simply just download this as a PDF and now I can just like provide that PDF file in here and that's it next I can simply just click on this continue button and now you can see upload success the page will close automatically I can simply just click on OK and now I can just go back to cursor and right now based on our provided information cursor has like started the testing using test sprite so let's just wait for it to finish this testing so right now you can see it is showing us this progress which is completed now and now you can see it has created these marked on files as well which is like tc001 single url scraping with valid url and now after some time it is showing that test execution completed test report results have been saved inside this directory basically so right inside the project it created this directory which is test sprite underscore test and then it created these marked on files inside that now you can just go to your test sprite dashboard and from here just go to this mcp test section and in here you can find this general web scraper you can see this is the test that it has just conducted even and even it is showing the status as well 5 by 13 and it is showing pass so i can just like open these details in here and see which test has been passed and which has been failed and right now you can see the first two has been failed which is single url scraping with valid url so now i can just like open this output here to see the result and you can see it has like recorded the test in here so it is like a proper recording an actual recording of our of our website and it just showed this as failed to scrape so for some reason when it conducted that testing it failed when we are actually conducting the testing it passed so that means there is some sort of like potential issue similarly let's just have a look at the second one and now let me just open that single url scraping with a valid url html output so that too is not working fine Okay, the test which is passed is this one, which is single URL scraping with invalid URL. So if you'll provide an invalid URL, it will detect that. So that test is passed. So yeah, now you can review all of these test results one by one. By the way, it conducted this testing based on our PRD document, and this testing is only for front end. You can conduct testing for your back end as well, but this testing was only for front end. There is this another amazing feature which is monitoring. You can actually schedule to rerun your test list and track their results. That means you can schedule your test maybe on every day, maybe on every week based on your requirements so you can automate your testing without manually conducting the testing to do this you can simply just click on this test list and from here you can simply just like create a new list maybe i'll just create a new list which is general web scraper and i'll simply just click on add and now what i can do i can just like click on this list and then i can just add tests in here so i can just like add this particular test and then from here i can just like add all of these so i can just like schedule testing for all of these tests again and again so after selecting all of these tests i can simply just click on this add to test list and now i can just like choose a schedule maybe hourly basis on daily basis or weekly basis or maybe monthly basis so i think in your case maybe you'll be doing it on daily basis so maybe every day so then you can just like time to start maybe from tomorrow and date maybe i don't know by the end of this month that's it and now you can even select this no and date as well and then you can choose a time as well and you can just like even choose the connected test list as well which is general web scraper and now you can just like even add an email address as well so once you have provided all of the details simply just click on save and now this schedule has been set and now it will automatically conduct testing for all of those tests now based on the test results cursor has automatically started fixing all of the issues one by one you can see cursor has created this to-do list and then listed all of these issues and now it has started fixing these issues as well it has started making changes in code and finally it has fixed all of these issues one by one and now you can see all of these issues are fixed and marked as green so cursor automatically identified all of the issues that were found in that testing and then made any necessary changes in code to fix and then finally fixed all of these issues so yeah, this is how helpful test sprite is it will completely automate your software testing 
so this way you can actually develop completely bug free apps even though if you're doing wipe coding or if you're just using like ai to write code for you and just adding test sprite into your workflow you can actually create more robust applications so just go ahead and give it a try and if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i'll see you next video bye bye